Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for match number two here for matchup A1. It is going to be none other than Grubby versus Nick on their second match. It's going to be Shakura's Plateau. Let's see what they can do here. Of course, they're both as Protoss. Grubby will be spawning as the green Protoss in the top right, with uh, Nick spawning as the blue Protoss in the top left. Now, just put the distances between the two very, very short. Now, if uh, this may actually have a little bit of a rushing strategy involved. Let's go into the game. Let's go live, live, live and see how this unfolds. Now, it's pretty much a question of who is going to be starting with what. Now, so far, the mineral count and all that jazz is pretty much similar, and it's just all a question of who is going to start off with what. Oh, we got ourselves a pause. I was just quickly just trying to figure out what is going on. Oh, they can hear the caster. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, all right, I'll, uh, I'll tone it down a little bit. How does that sound? Oh, apparently they know where you are. Shall we uh, remake them? Yeah, but they can't hear me. Really? So uh, apparently they can hear me. Apparently, I need to speak softer. I shall try to tone it down. Okay, this is what's happening right now. Oh, they're going to be remaking. So, uh... So, yeah, we're quickly going to be remaking uh, this matchup. And, uh... Oh and try to figure out uh, what we can do about the audio. Now, the players are approximately... Uh, yeah, they, they are on a different floor from where I am. So how on earth the other players are coming out saying, we can't hear him at all? And apparently, Nick can, which is one of those things where you're just thinking, turn your in-game audio up, maybe? <laughs> Sorry, I, I speak at a standard 92 decibels. It's one of those things. It can be helped. No, let's not go that way. And so, yeah, pretty much, let's uh, get ready here for, well, pretty much Secura's Plateau. Best of three, it's Grubby versus Neek. And it pretty much, um, yeah, after that remake, I'm, I'm just, uh, the speaker volume to be down a bit. Grubby, amazing English. The speaker volume to be down a bit. I am woefully impressed. Uh, production, are we actually running any audio through the building right now? No? So it's actually physically my, my trachea that's doing this. He's got bat ears. A Batman. No, not that Batman. I could show you a magic trick if you want. Yeah, the magic does start here, here at ESWCNL in Utrecht. Uh, the speakers are half now. Uh, what? Are they actually watching the stream up there? I think somebody's actually physically watching the stream up there. Because I, 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 I get these guys saying the speakers are now half down. Uh, it's... Right, so uh, yeah, the admins are idiots. Let's go into the game. Let's go live, live, live. Shakira's Plateau should be good. Let's uh, see where we are at. Shakira's Plateau, Grubby versus Neek. So we got ourselves a mirror match as again. And uh, this time they've actually swapped sides after that remake. Neek is spawning as the blue Protoss at the top right versus Grubby's green Protoss in the top left. So they physically just managed to... Uh, change their sides. And on Metalopolis, we pretty much saw a fairly standard strategy. Stalker, Zealot with a uh, Colossi uh, back, uh, support. So let's uh, see what we can do here. So far, supply-wise, pretty much, yeah. Probes building. But uh, we're actually seeing Neek going for some early expansion already. Really moving out. Are we maybe going to see a proxy early on? We'll have to see whether or not... Uh, He's already trying to figure out where Grubby is. Grubby, in the meantime, still has not sent any workers out at all to find out where uh, his opponent is. That's going to give him a serious macro. And, uh, yeah. 
advancement, advancement in the mid-game. Because those, uh, yeah, those minerals, yeah, here we go, gateway from Grubby. And what do we see here? A gateway from uh, from Neek. Now, you know, it's, it's, it's spawned a little bit later. It was pretty much predictable. Is Neek in aware of what is going on? I don't think... Yes, Neek is aware, isn't he? Yes. He is aware where Grubby is. Grubby is very... Neek is very, very aware where Grubby is, but... Grubby has not the slightest clue yet. He's just moving his stuff out. We'll have to see how he goes around. Both sides with 14 probes, but again, those mineral advancements. Really. Giving it away. Let's see whether or not we're going to be see, seeing a similar strategy again from what we saw earlier. Production so far, we got both sides cybernetic score. I would not be surprised if uh, both sides are looking to go for that four gate and are ready to uh, rear in because uh, Nick is still happily scouting out. No problem with that. I will be spotting the second, the second assimilator. Will he be making the same mistake like he did the first time? No, he won't. So he will have that gas. That's definitely, definitely going to help. Now, there it is. There is the warp gate from Grubby. And Neek following suit. But Grubby's actually starting up with that single stalker before going warp gate. I'll have to see how that pans out. But so far, extremely standard stuff. Pretty much the same what we saw in the previous matchup. Grabbing up, pulling. Uh, f funny thing about uh, ESWC and Nellis is that TLO lives in Utrecht at this moment in time. And I, I kind of expected him to be here at the moment, which is a bit of a shame because he's not, and he does live in his city. Grubby, in the meantime... Uh, okay, there we go. There's the uh, Chrono Boost um, cybernetic score. I do hope that we're not going to see a mirror final like we saw at previous tournament. Again, gateways, Neek once again, still not being scouted by Grubby, I think. Oh, well, he has managed to see this. He saw... I has, oh, dear, he has not seen the Twilight Council from Nick. Is Grubby following suit? No, he's not. There is most definitely not. And we will be seeing Blink research by Nick. This, is, this could potentially be devastating if he can get himself a proxy pylon somewhere around. Let's see if Nick actually has something like that build around the map. Now, I don't see any proxies whatsoever just yet, but Nick will have the advantage. He will be able to kite out Grubby's uh, stalkers if he continues on with this blink, which he just managed to go. But Grubby, on the other hand, getting himself an expansion. Now, a 32 expansion. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Going well, more stalkers from Grubby just falling back. Gonna have a series of matches from these bling stalkers from. Oh, there, that's the proxy pylon. Nick is looking to get more stalkers in, and Grubby has mind finally managed to get himself that uh, Twilight Council up as well with the blink. Now Nick will need to move fast. He has the upper he has the upper hand. Has he actually built any upgrades to is any anything on his units? No, he hasn't. He has his advantage. He has his stalkers ready to go. Still, yes, sure, Grubby is, will be able to get force field off this uh, this ramp, but it's just this blink advantage is just so, so strong. And here he comes, ready to go for an engagement. Here we go. Here come the uh, shield. They will have the blink ready to go. Will they blink past the shield? Nicely micro there. He gets his stalkers out. No losses. The shields are still up. Waste of energy for Grubby. 
There they go, shields are down. Another set of sentry shields are being pipped up. Grubbies! Blink is almost done. The help of the sentries is very, very good, but is it going to be enough? Because the shield is down. The shield is down. Will Nick push? He needs to push now because the blink on Grubby's side is done. Grubby, Grubby's, Grubby's blink is done. They're coming in. They're coming in fast. Oh, what are the only stalkers being blinked out one by one? Shields are coming up. This is just a do or die situation for Nick. Oh dear, Grubby has managed to get more of these stalkers out of the equation than he managed to lose. Blinking out and microing in all the units as well as they could and having that uh, advantage from the top ramp is so, 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 so good. More stalkers coming in. Oh, so many extra stalkers coming in now. Nick at a serious advantage. Grubby needs to chase. Needs to chase now. But another uh, another pylon being built up here. Let's see if uh, Nick uh, mineral-wise should be able to pull something off here. APM for Nick is so, so high right now. But Grubby's superior placement on the top of the ramp is pretty much holding it back. Great blinking. Nick is, yeah, here we go. Good game being called. Nick will fall out of this tournament. And Grubby will only need himself two whole maps in order to pull this match into his pocket. He will be moving on towards the second stage in this tournament. Nick will sadly not, not move on and will lose his opportunity to go to Paris at the Electronic Sports World Cup. My name is Aspec here live on Chaos TV. The stream is made possible by none other than Medion, Power Unlimited, TP Link, and Gamer01. We'll be right back with you for the second matchup here live on the stream. Yeah. 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 Yeah.